Hey guys, hope your week is going well. Uh, just wanted to give you uh, a little rundown on the Canada Skateboard Collectors Skateboard Mount. And so if you're wondering again why I'm wearing the same attire, it's because I've just finished two other videos that hopefully you've watched. If not, go back and watch them. So one was on the Steve Caballero Street, um, both the silver and the blue one, and just some of the differences. I mean, exact same board, but um, the silver 2019 has the old school hole pattern versus my blue one back here that has the new school hole pattern from 2018. Uh, then the next video I did was the Steve Caballero Chinese Dragon. And so go back and check those out anyways. So I just wanted to finish off my day today, probably a different day from again, if you're not watching them, you know, consecutively. Anyways, uh, just wanted to finish off my day here as we're starting to lose some sun. Um, having a quick look at this again, Canada Skateboard Collectors Skateboard Mount. And so Steve Hoffman is a gentleman that's involved with that page. And uh, he does a lot of buying and selling and trading, uh, a lot of waffing. He's come up with making the skateboard mount. And so I've seen him have it up for sale in the past. And so I wanted to give it a try. And so you guys know me, if you've gone back and looked at any of my other videos, you see that I've tried a few different mounts. I want to give you guys a quick update on this um, one that I got from eBay, the Chinese version, which was about half of the price of the Skateology ones. So my main concern with this one, guys, if you're, if you're going to go onto eBay, if you're going to follow that link, is just know the sliding mechanism blows. It is terrible. It's not what you want because especially with dips, uh, there's not a lot of room as it is to be sliding. They fit pretty tight in the truck mounting holes. Um, but the problem with them is this thing slides all over the place, which, you know, on paper might have been a good idea, but excuse me, skateboard truck holes don't like they're not, they don't get wider and thinner. So it doesn't really make sense. And the problem with it is as you're pulling your board on and off, it can get pinched. And I don't know if you've looked at some of my other videos and wondered why there was a board missing here. It's because this pinched and I could not get the board off and I ended up ripping the sucker right off the wall, <laughs> leaving a big hole like this in my wall. So I had to do some repairs. I got that fixed, got the other board up. But I would say stay away from these ones. Um, it's, you know, again, they're, they're sturdy. Uh, the ad on eBay makes it seem like there's only the two holes, but this, you know, this one does slide when I got it. They, they had this mechanism and uh, it's, it's just not a good design. Let's get back to Steve's from Canada Skateboard Collectors. And so when I initially saw this, I thought that it was just the whole thing was 3D printed and I wondered, you know, how safe my deck would be on there and how well it would stand up. I had some concerns whether or not they would slide off the end, um, you know, just all of that stuff. And so the way it comes is this 3D printed block. And let me show you the back here as well. And then these are actually just wooden dowels. You get some wooden dowels with it. And he threw in a couple extra for me as well. I bought five or six from him, I think five. And uh, so he threw in an extra set of wooden dowels for me. <clears throat> and so when I got them, I just gave them a, a little sand. They were already sanded, but I just gave them a little bit, you know, of a sandy, um, just to ensure that they would fit in, you know, into the mount properly there. And uh, then I just took a, rubber mallet and tap them in until they weren't going anymore. And so I have a few of my boards up on the wall with them, the Valeli right now, and I'm trusting an OG up there as well, um, you know, on this mount and they're holding fine. And so the one thing that I am wondering, and, I, and I'm not 100% sure because we're in an old farmhouse here, so the walls are not square. <laughs> so it could just be that the walls aren't square. Um, but I noticed that when I have uh, my other mounts up there, um, either with the wooden block, well, just using the metal bolts essentially, um, I can put my boards on and the tails won't be hitting against the wall. With this one on, on both of the boards, um, the tails are against the wall. So I don't know if it's just the pressure on the mount is just not as strong. So the, the tail tends to come in a bit. I'm not 100% sure. Again, it can just be the fact that 
I've got old arm walls here and they're all crooked. So anyways, super happy. The thing that I love about these is that it doesn't have the threads. That's the word I was looking for before, but it doesn't have the threads of the bolts, right? So as you're putting your board on, there's not that, oh crap, I feel like it's grinding on there. Um, yeah, you just put your board on, goes on nice and smooth, you can pull it off, and it's not super loose, so you don't have to worry about it sliding off. I'm not concerned at all about those boards sliding off there. And so as long as you've got a tack to the wall properly, um, there should be no reason at all why your board would come off. Even if it pivoted like this a bit and the board started to slide, I think just based on the fact that it would angle, it actually just lock itself on there. And so, Nothing that I'm concerned with. Um, really happy, you know, with the product. Uh, simple design, simple solution, um, but does the job effectively. And to be honest, it's at a great price point. I think I paid around $4.50 to $5 CAD um, per unit. And I think if you were to buy bulk, Steve gives you a deal maybe around $4.50. Um, yeah, I don't know. And I mean, as you know, as his business continues to grow and increase, costs might have to go up. Uh, but right now it's going to be around five bucks. And so if you're interested in something like that, trying something a little bit different uh, without having to worry about, again, the threads compromising uh, your deck, especially those dips, because once the dip, you know, gets inside those truck holes, it's just it gets tight in there. Um, so this is nice because you don't have to worry about those threads doing the damage. And so again, around, you know, around five bucks, unless you order a bunch, then he might give you a, a discounted price on them. But anywho, I'll put the link in the description and uh, be sure to go and check out Canada Skateboard Collectors Group. And you're looking for Steve Hoffman, the Hoff. All right, guys, have a fabulous week. Uh, be good. Leave some comments so we can chat. Cheers. Take care. Bye.